Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I thought today I would do a top 10 uh, newborn must-haves. I thought today I would do a top 10 newborn must-haves that you might not have thought about. And this is laughing at me. <laughs> Um, I just write it down in my new little notebook that my new little notebook that my friend got me. Okay, so it's been a while. My son is not uh, is not a newborn anymore. He is almost eight months. Yeah. He's had an eight months next week. Um, so this has been a while. I had to look back through all my my memories and all my photos and everything to remember what I actually used. Sleep. Sleep for newborns. Oh, it's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> I think it is the most important part and it's the most challenging part. And I feel like me and Lewis nailed it. And so I'm going to let you know what we used. So first off, a Moses basket. A lot of people are not too sure about a Moses basket. Um, some people think that it's the waste of money or they might not have any space for it, fair enough. The one we got um, was a swinging basket and that was really, really useful to get him to sleep. Like to get him to sleep, not in our arms. Like if we had to do something around the house and he had to sleep, that was the easiest way for us. That swinging motion rocked him straight to sleep. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, and it's, some, it's something that I didn't take into consideration before getting a Moses basket. I just happened to have gotten a swinging one, uh, a rocking one. I got that one second hand. I, I got a new mattress for it because um, you need to get a new mattress for every baby. Um, but it was a second hand Moses basket. So that was, that was great. I got that from um, Facebook Marketplace. What else for sleep? We've got sleep suits with mittens. I know they're sleep suits with um, the, foot, the foot bits, but with mittens is so important. Um, and to be fair, most of them have mittens nowadays. We had the ones from um, Primark. Yeah, it was all the Primark ones. Um, and it means that Nicholas wouldn't scratch himself because when babies are born, their nails grow so quickly. Like you will cut or file their nail in one day and two days later, they will claw themselves. Like it's, yeah, the mittens one. That's great. Um, also, I was gonna mention this one later, but now that I'm talking about nails, um, the electric um, baby nail files, amazing. Um, while they're newborns, because it, it you're not so scared to like, you don't wanna accidentally like clip their fingers or anything. Um, so the electric nail file doesn't let you hurt them and it's it's quick. Um, but after, um, i say after six months, they are so interested in the nail file that they will just take it off you or try to put it in their mouths. But as newborns, fantastic. Next one for sleeping. This one, I don't think I could have gone through this without it and that is a breathing monitor. Some people say that with the breathing monitor, it makes them more hypervigilant, but that depends. It can make you more hypervigilant if you're looking at the ones with, um, that maybe it's like an app and you're looking at your baby's like oxygen levels and all of these different statistics. And so you can get really worried about something quickly. No, the one we had is just- It just beeped. Yeah, so if his- breathing. Yeah, so if his breathing just went a bit, yeah. If he stopped breathing <laughs> for, um, I think it's maybe like 30 seconds or something like that, it will start going beep, 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 beep. And then if he still hasn't taken a breath within, I don't know exactly how long, an alarm goes off, it goes, yeah. you can't miss the alarm. Although, Lewis missed the alarm once, but that's because Nicholas moved out of place when he was a little bit bigger. And so the breathing one is hard, couldn't sense Nicholas. But yeah, the breathing monitor are really, really good. And also a baby monitor, like a camera. Because when your baby's a newborn, 
it's always recommended that you're always there with your baby while they're sleeping. Like even if they're napping during the day, you're always meant to be there. Um, what we found is that as long as we had the camera watching him and we had our breathing monitor, it meant, so with the, with the camera, it came with a handheld device that me and Lewis could just look at. So while we was in the living room, we're looking at Nicholas through the monitor, the breathing monitor is on, so that's monitoring his breathing. It meant me and Lewis could have some, like just a little bit of moment to ourselves, which is, which is important because throughout the newborn time, you have to obviously so much focus onto your, onto your newborn, onto your baby. And you also need to remember that you need to take care of yourself and having that one-to-one -one time with your partner in that time is super important because you both need to look after each other. Next one, even though Nicholas didn't really use it, um, but I can see how it would be super helpful. Dummy clips. Nicholas, he never liked it, so he was constantly pushing it out of his mouth. Um, but when the baby pushes it out of his mouth and it goes on the floor, that doesn't work out. And again, it's something I didn't think about before I had Nicholas. I just thought, yeah, it's just a dummy. He's just going to keep it in his mouth. I didn't think about it falling on the floor. Um, so obviously the clip will stop it from falling. And I really like these ones. I like the colour. Um, I'll link it down below. I do have an Amazon storefront where you can see all the different um, lists. All the, lift, all the different lifts I've made. I've made a hospital bag one and I've made a newborn one, a newborn one where everything that I've written here and the, some extras um, will be on there. Ah, the hatch. Um, hatch rest plus. Or you can just get the hatch rest. I had the rest plus because I got it second hand so it was cheaper. Um, that made the brown noise and it was also a nightlight. So it was both. Um, we really liked it because it also had... Um, you could like make a schedule with it and it will turn on automatically. You can also collect it, connect it with Alexa. Alexa. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that one's great. If you can't have that one, maybe it's a bit too expensive because it is quite pricey. Um, we just use Alexa now because our hatch broke. Um, so I literally just say, Alexa, um, play brown noise. And then I put it to the highest volume and that's what Nicholas sleeps to because um, babies start creating sleep associations. And so whenever Nicholas would go on his nap and would put on the brown noise, we'll put him in his mosis basket, we'll put him in his swaddle, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, we put on that brown noise. That is a I say brown noise except um, instead of white noise because white noise is more of like a higher pitch and I find it really annoying. So brown noise amazing um and he just associates that with sleep like even now he hears the brown noise he knows the room is dark i have my cover on he goes to sleep puts a bit of a fight sometimes but he'll go to sleep you know um and that's if he stays at his grandma's house um if he's at his child minds as long as the brown noise is going ah the swaddles um when we were at the hospital me and Lewis were using just a regular like square swaddles and we were physically swaddling him. Um, that worked while we were at the hospital that Nicholas was just sleeping basically the whole time. Um, but once Nicholas started just wriggling a little bit, he'll come out of that. And then obviously that can be dangerous because then the swaddle, they can like put it over their heads or... <laughs> yeah, so we ended up getting the Velcro swaddles made our life so much easier, so, so much easier, especially when changing his nappy. The ones that I got, um, so it had the Velcro here, but then at night when you were changing his nappy, you could just take this bit down, like, and put it under the baby. And so you could just change his nappy without taking him out of the swaddle. <sighs> Amazing. Uh, again, that will be down below. Nighttime feeding. Um, another thing that we used, is the Tommy Tippy flask. Um, yeah, it'll keep the the water warm during the night time. The issue I found with it sometimes though is that where we'd put the boiling water in it, it would still sometimes be a bit too hot um, at night. 
and so we'll then have the fuss of Nicholas crying because he's hungry and having to wait for this to cool down. Um, so what we've got now, we've got the Tommy Timmy prep machine, which is fantastic. Um, what I would have done if I had the Tommy Timmy prep machine, machine is I would have filled this up with the water from the machine so it would always be at the perfect temperature. Um, if you don't know about the Tommy Tip Tommy Tippy prep machine, I'd say have a look at it because it has been amazing and I wouldn't say it's that necessary for, for newborns but I would say maybe three months upwards it would make a lot of sense to have one. Um, but yeah, this is great. Have your water ready at night. Um, and then this little one that comes with the kit of the Tommy Tippy prep the Tommy to be bottles or and a lot of people don't actually know um what exactly this is for um I think you can also buy it separately though one second and then you actually get a bottle um yeah so what a lot of people don't know is that this little milk container because where you put the formula um obviously that this is if your baby is um formula fed um it actually goes right in here and so let's say you're going out, all you have to do is um, you can fill this up with the hot water, put the milk in. It means that the milk isn't going to mix with the water. So all good. And you get going and it just it takes up so much less space. Um, but yeah, at night time, so um, what we'll do is we'll fill this up with the scoops and then yeah, like this, have it ready for when Nicholas gets hungry and just pour the milk in, shake it, all good. Um, it is very useful. Um, I did recently find on Amazon though, um, similar to the milk containers, but it has more compartments. I will show a picture over here or somewhere so you can see what I mean. I actually want to get one of these, very useful. Um, yeah, that's that for feeding. I think there's one more thing. Ah, last but not least, a bouncer. We had a normal bouncer, which I'll, I'll show you here. Um, but we also had the, we had the mummeroo um, that obviously like swings and everything. Nicholas didn't love the mummeroo. He loved the bouncer. And when he would like really struggle to fall asleep, we would just put him on the bouncer um, and he would just calm down like straight away. Or yeah, if he was like crying or having a little um, emotional moment, just put him on there, he'll relax. Um, I really liked it, he enjoyed it. That's it for the um, top 10, I might have been, don't really know how many I said. Oh, hey. It's got a bit of a cold. <laughs> oh, cold, bogeys, everything. I should probably clean you up before I show you to the camera. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I will be filming a, um, <laughs> you're so cute, you're so cute. I will be filming a three month, three month, um, thanks Nicholas, <laughs> uh, three, can you see me? Mm -hmm. A three month, um, must haves and a six months. We'll see. Alright, thank you. Bye. Don't forget to like subscribe and follow my Instagram as well, which is down below. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Relentless. I ain't got to deal with no pressure. Hoping and praying.